Hi guys! Today I'm going to show Sammy a few awesome poppet hacks, which will totally make his life more interesting. Hi everyone! If you are as thrilled as I am to see those, then give a thumbs up! Okay, Susie, go on! Impress me! This won't be hard. <laughs> Check this out. Isn't this your favorite type of rainbow? Yahoo! Hold your horses, cowboy! We're going to make something spectacular with these candies. Alrighty. Let's take one candy and put it straight into the bubble like this. Here comes another one. Guys, you don't need to follow any exact order. Just use your imagination to the fullest! Good point, Sammy. Great! Now we're gonna need chocolate. A lot of chocolate. Sue, don't tell me that I can't have it either! Don't worry, Sammy. You will taste it later. And now we're gonna use some magic. Ta-da! Would you guys look at this perfect consistency? Whoa! Now we'll simply pour our melted chocolate straight into the poppet this way. All the way through it so that it covers all the M&Ms. Be careful and don't get burned. Mmm, it looks so yummy, right? My mouth is watering. I can't wait to try this thing already. We're almost done! All we've got to do is wait till the chocolate hardens again. And then we can carefully take our brand new chocolate bar out of the poppet. Like this! Wow, Susie! It looks magical! And I bet it tastes really good too! Oh! That we can check right now! Mmm! I like it! Okay! That's enough, Sue! I want to try it too! And you can keep showing those poppet hacks, but only if they are as amazing as this one! <laughs> they may be even better. <laughs> All right, for our next craft, we need to get rid of those partitions inside the poppet fidget. Be very careful working with the scissors, guys, like this. Is this a going to be another tasty craft, Sue? Because I'm ready. You guessed right. Okay, that's it. By the way, Sammy, could you wash this properly? Well, since you don't have a more complicated task for me. In the meantime, we'll use our little stove. Guys, this is called Isomalt. You can ask your parents to buy it for you in the nearest candy store. Did someone say candy? Oh, Sammy. Now let's add a tiny bit of water and stir the whole thing until we get a uniform structure. This way. Something tells me you're gonna need this. Oh, thank you. Right on time. Guys, it's important that your Isomalt is about 180 degrees Celsius. Great! And since it's really hot, you need to work extremely carefully and fast enough. We've divided our isomalt into six even parts, and now we're going to color it. Here comes the green. Just one little drop will be enough. One, two, three. Hey, Susie! This puppet also has six colors. Look! Oh, really, Sammy? Who knew? <laughs> Aha! That's the main idea. <laughs> exactly, Sammy. The next step is as simple as can be. We are going to pour our colored isomalt into the puppet. Following the order of its colors, of course. This way. And we finish the red row. Great! Remember to be careful, Susan! And you guys may ask an adult to help you at this stage. Here we go. Oh, I'm kind of feeling like Willy Wonka. Then that makes me an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Augustus Gloop, Augustus Gloop, Augustus Gloop. <laughs> now we need to insert a popsicle stick this way. And let our lollipop set. I can help with that. Today we're working with... Pop it! A lollipop you can all greet! Wow, Sammy, your Oompa Loompa magic works like a charm! Check this out, guys! Our poppet candy is finally ready! And I'm ready to taste it! Oh, Sue, you're a great candy man! But now I'm all sticky! I need to wash myself! And our next craft will help you with that! We'll need a poppet, 
and some melted soap base of any color you like. Like this, for example. We froze it all and got a wonderful soap bar. Let's take it out. Wow, so beautiful! But why is it partially violet? La 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 la! Oop, oopsie! Guys, if you're as amazed by these hacks as I am, give us a thumbs up! And I'll be right back! Ah, I'm fresh and clean again! What's next, Sue? Well, you do know how much I like watermelons, right? That's why... Whoa, it looks tasty! You're right, Sammy. Come, help me cut it! With great pleasure! That was impressive, thanks! Now we're gonna need a blender. It's more convenient to use a handheld one. We'll simply dip it into our watermelon. Be careful working with household appliances, guys! Nice watermelon juice, huh? Now let's add about this amount of gelatin powder. There we go. Did you already pick a poppet for this craft, Sammy? Uh-huh, let it be a unicorn! Oh, I like the way you think. Guys, here, I'll need a pinch of magic. Voila! Now we need to fill our poppet bubbles with this gelatin mixture. This way. I'm using a squeeze bottle. But you can also try and use a pastry tube to do this. Guys, while Sue's is busy, take a second to subscribe to our channel. There are a lot of cool videos there. All right, the gelatin has finally cooled down. And we've got a whole bunch of amazing watermelon gummies. Give me cheddar, Susie! All your hacks today are truly amazing! Hi, guys! Today we're gonna make an unusual poppet cake! A cake and a poppet are the best things in the world, so why don't we mix them together? Oh, thanks for the spoon, Sammy! First, we need to mix all the dry ingredients in a bowl. Like this. Guys, give us a thumbs up if you like baking like we do! And feel free to ask an adult to join you. It's always fun cooking together. Yes, I agree, but I prefer eating alone. All the more for me. <laughs> Sue, is this a bowl for wet ingredients? Am I right? Ah, you scared me. It looked like the eggs were going to fall right on my head. This is what you get for not sharing with your best friend, who always helps you with cooking. Oh, Sue, come on. I'm ready to give you anything. Even this sugar. What a coincidence! It looks exactly like the one I've prepared for this craft! Sammy, could you be so kind to put a pot with water on a cooker? Now we'll add some salt! Be careful not to add too much! Here's the water! But I don't remember us doing this in the previous cooking episodes! It's called a bain marie! We'll put the mixture on the pot with boiling water and start mixing it very well. But don't let it boil, guys! We just need to heat it up a bit until sugar is completely dissolved. Good macarons! Oh, hot! Sammy, are you okay? Guys, I strongly recommend to ask an adult to help you on this stage. The steam can be very hot. Well, our mixture is warm enough. We can move on to the mixer! Oh, I'm so happy you're all right, Sammy. But let me do this, okay? And that's it! Now we are going to add the dry mixture here, but only half of it. So how about a fast taste test? Don't rush, Mr. I want all at once, but this I will take. Guys, try to mix the batter very slow, from the bottom to the top, so it will be airy and fluffy. You told me you'll show good culinary magic, and still nothing! Okay, you're gonna be surprised! Secretius Ingredius Superius! Whoa! It worked! Actually, it looks like batter. And smells like it too! Only buttery! So it seems your magic trick didn't work! Nope, it did! This is the secret ingredient that will make our batter consistency pretty cool. We've just added some melted butter and a bit of vanilla extract to the second part of our batter. Now, Sammy, could you please heat up the oven to 175 degrees Celsius? But be careful! Sure thing! This is the classic recipe for a chocolate cake. They say the classics are always the best, because there's nothing redundant here. Sue, so, holy cannoli, no time to chat. The oven is ready. 
I guess he's in such a hurry because he wants to taste the cake as soon as possible. <laughs> of course I do! Who would say no to a cake? Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree! Let's see how many of us there are! In the meantime, I'll go put this into the oven for 50 minutes. But don't you go anywhere and you'll see the final result! Trust me, you'll be surprised! La 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 la… Ew, no! Sugar me, Jenners, what have you done? You ruined the cake and we've tried so hard! Ah! Where is the template I asked you to prepare? Here it is! Sue, are you not listening? I promised our viewers they would be surprised! Um, what are you doing? We're gonna make a beautiful butterfly by cutting all excess. Guys, don't forget about safety! Hup! Or you'd better ask an adult to help! Interesting. Does it mean you don't need this anymore? I know what you want to ask, Sammy. Yes, you can eat it. And the crust, too. I cut it so the cake would be much moister. Hooray! And while he's distracted, let's make the frosting. Sam likes it very much, so there is a chance he'll eat everything up. But our cake can't do without it, so let's speed up. And it came out great! Since we're making a rainbow cake, we just need to… Great! Sue, don't take it personal. But I thought the colors would be brighter. Yeah, I know. But if you ask me, these shades will look awesome too. See for yourself! You're right! It looks good! I just remembered we've already made a unicorn rainbow cake and it was very bright! Ooh, I remember it too! It was so pretty! We prepared so many cakes, guys! It's hard to list them all! I'll try! An imposter cake, a gigantic Oreo cake, an M&M's cake, a jelly pond cake, and… And… Ugh, I can't! There are too many of them! Guys, have you watched those videos? Well, you know where to find them! Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our new recipes! I think my favorite one is a slick slime Sam cake. It looked exactly like you, Sammy. <laughs> and this one is my favorite. Will you bake the same one for my birthday? <laughs> but you haven't tried it yet. A chocolate biscuit and creamy frosting? What can be better? I agree, Sammy. By the way, we're done. Now the great Timidala I'm ready to eat. Here is my spoon. Oh no, Sammy, wait a second. It's not the time. Ah! We're getting to the finish line, guys. Stay tuned. This one goes here. Yeah, right? Um, okay. Uh-huh. I see. Right. Sammy, what are you doing? You don't let me work on the cake. I had to check everything. So the examination showed that the cake is awesome, but it still has nothing to do with the puppet. Don't jump to conclusions, Mr. Smarty Pants. Tell me, what colors do our cake rainbow have? Ha! Huh, it's easy, Sue. Purple, blue, green, yellow, and pink. Like me! Awesome! Now everything's ready for making a perfect poppet! Somebody said a perfect poppet! Ooh, all over again. This lecture is about a perfect poppet. Here we go. By the mozzarella, I know something about perfect poppets! I have a PhD in this field. The first and one of the most important things is a shape! Plain round or square ones are boring. I'm all for unusual poppet shapes! He can speak like this for hours, trust me, guys. The second thing is bubbles. They should be nice to pop. I'm just working on the whole construction. And last but not least, the colors. It's just a matter of taste, of course, but the brighter the merrier. If I remember clearly, you didn't like these colors. Not at all. I just wanted to remind the guys of the unicorn cake so they could watch the video one more time. OK, OK, now I see. Now we can start assembling our cake! Sue, everybody knows I'm a master of decorations, but I haven't shown off my skills for ages! Go ahead, Sammy! I believe in you! Yay! Whoosh! Wow, such an awesome cake we have, guys! But there is still one thing missing. And what could it possibly be? The edges! Shiver me, Cheddar's how could I? But it's easy to fix! No, 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 Sammy. You've already done a great job. Let me take care of this. I'm so lucky to have such a great helper like Sammy. Frankly speaking, I've never seen a cake like this in my whole life! It's so beautiful! Yeah, I'm so excited to see the result! Hop! 
I'm glad it's the final touch. I have to say, Sue, now I'm gonna call you a master of cake making. It's just amazing. <laughs> Sammy, I'm really impressed. Thank you. Now let's take another look at our gorgeous cake in all its glory. Did you change your mind? Are we not gonna eat it? Oh, of course we are! I like playing, but I like eating cakes more! Here we go! Be careful with the knife, guys! Looks like you're cutting the rainbow itself! Am I right? Wow! This piece looks awesome! 